Welcome back, everyone. Well, as many of you know, I have a real, oh, we're all about the STEM initiative, but I always think it should be called STEAM, because where are the arts? About 10 years ago, when my wife and I first moved to Glens Falls, we found out that there was a building there in Glens Falls where a lot of artists, kind of an artist colony, were there with studios and shops selling to the public and whatever. It's called the Shirt Factory. Now, if you live in the Glens Falls area, you know about it. If you're down here in Saratoga County, you probably don't know about it, and you're going to know about it. Joining me today are two of the artists in residence, Bev Saunders and Dolores Thompson. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Hi. Very nice to have you here. Good to be uh, here. With that kind of opening, I guess you can tell we're enthusiastic about telling people about the Shirt Factory. Bev, I'm going to start with you. A uh, little bit of the history. 2000, I guess the year 2000, you were telling me, kind of converted into this really eclectic, unique place. Yes, it, um, I think it started, uh, you know, with uh, the art or the owner, you know, creating the space, and then organically, artists really started to to come into it. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, as the artist came in, um, it really has um, morphed into more artists. Uh, the spaces became more um, available. Um, he's been renovating the place mm -hmm. in such to a point now where he's pretty much done with the spaces that are available and that they are um, clean mm -hmm. and fresh painted mm -hmm. and you can walk the halls and find a door open, mm -hmm. you know, throughout the the day. Now, the reason they call it the shirt factory, of course, is that it is a former shirt factory. It's an industrial building, I think three or four floors. And each, the, the way the building has been uh, renovated, there are retail businesses uh, all scattered throughout and studios. And uh, you are ceramic artist, yes, correct? Yes, that's right. Dolores, uh, you took a space. When did you take space? I took space in 2004. Wow. And um, I established my studio as a teaching studio and as a gallery. Mm -hmm. So I've been there all these years. I have a, a, a small following of regular students and um, <clears throat> as well as, you know, rotating new ones that come and go. Mm -hmm. But um, we, we have a lot of fun and um, just enjoy, enjoy it. And I'm just happy to be part of this community. Mm -hmm. And um, I've seen a lot of changes in the building and uh, it's a work in progress, but we are moving forward. Well, you don't want to know exciting. something. Art is a working project. Yeah. So, you know, you, yeah. you, it's, you always hear the phrase, you know, herding cats. Yeah. You know, trying to get artists all in one place. Uh, when we lived in New York, you know, the artists were in Greenwich Village. Then they moved out of Greenwich Village when yeah. that became gentrified and went across into Brooklyn. Right. And you think to yourself, that's what makes this so unique is that there are 70 plus artists all congregated in this one factory and it uh, opened for business, uh, jewelry, ceramics. What are some of the categories? Photography. Photographers. Um, <clears throat> woodworkers. Yes, right. Woodworkers, I've seen some of the woodworkers. Uh, different um, media of arts, uh, watercolor, pastel artists, uh, oil painters, mm -hmm. and acrylic. Um, and just there's fiber arts, mm -hmm. you know, uh, people that do quilting and sewing and weaving and other, you know, fiber art forms. Um, and you know we're moving into the yeah. time you said something to me before we went on air that I really want to share with the with the with the viewers is that you know you can always go <laughs> not disparaging malls you can always go to a mall and go to a franchise and pick something up but the art of the gift is what you said to me it really stuck in my mind you know you think about giving a gift that's there should be thought behind it you should try to find something unique you could try to find something that actually is particular to that individual that, that you're giving a gift to. So when you said that to me, what were you thinking? Well, that's what I've created in my gallery. I've mm -hmm. been there eight and a half years, and I've created a gallery and a service of picture framing as well as um, a studio for myself to paint mm -hmm. in pastel. So <clears throat> I'm very committed to the artists within the building and the community of artists, so my gallery supports the e either emerging artists or artists in the building. But with Art of the Gift mm -hmm. um, is the name of my current exhibition, which right. the idea that it takes time, thought, and um, passion, and heart to, mm -hmm. to find a gift, which is very similar to how the artists create. Right, got it, the sure. Work that what a wonderful connection, and that really is the art of the, of the gift. Yeah. It, uh, they have a, there's an open house coming up. 
And I know, it, in many ways, when my wife and I go through the, the shirt factory, it's like a living museum in a way. Mm -hmm. it's, it, there's, there's so much to see. And the open houses are a great way to introduce people to the offerings and the scope of what's there right. and give yes. people ideas for gifts and stuff like that. Yeah. When's the open house, Dolores? Um, Thanksgiving weekend. We, right. We're open uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday after Thanksgiving, um, November uh, 28th through mm -hmm. 30th, mm -hmm. I believe. <laughs> and you also <laughs> invite <laughs> other vendors in, too, because I, yeah. if I recall correctly, the hallways are filled with artists. Right. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, my God, you know, there's a wealth of, and give yourself some time to go through it because it does take time and uh, you get to talk to the artists themselves. I've wandered into studios there and just started conversations with the artists. And, you know, as any artist, that's, it, they live, sleep, eat, and drink their art. So they're always willing to talk, which is always and, fun. And the open house is the best time to come because that's when they are more willing, the private studios are more willing to open up their studios, show mm -hmm. what they're doing and share what they're doing with the public. Mm -hmm. uh, at other times, it's a little, it may seem a little quiet, but we have the, you know, the businesses or the shops such as uh, aromatherapy and healing arts and uh, acupuncture and yarns and mm -hmm. uh, a gallery and a tea shop and repurposing furniture now mm -hmm. in the building. And there's been a little changes that there's a little ebb and flow, but there's always the constant mm -hmm. that there's creativity happening at the Shirt Factory. Well, you've got it. You know, I need to re read this off to you. Uh, they've got shopping, they've got services, they have studios, they have healing arts, they have classes, they have galleries, and of course events. And the best event to go to is Thanksgiving weekend, correct? Isn't it a two-day or three-day event? It's a three-day event. It's a three-day event. And okay. then we do it again in two weeks, yes. December 12th and 13th. We have our December open house. Well, you know how, how we've used that? I go <laughs> on Thanksgiving to get ideas. Yes. yes. Then think about right. it, talk about right. it, and then come back again two weeks. Right. And, and that's uh, exactly how that second open house started. And we've been doing that second open house for about six years now because people came and they thought, oh, we, we thought you did this every weekend. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's a lot of coordinating and a lot of work to, to pull the events off. So uh, we, we do it again in two weeks. Good, great. <laughs> All right, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is over Thanksgiving weekend, make sure you go to the Shirt Factory. It's in Glens, right in Glens Falls. It's shirtfactorygf.com. And, of course, they can go to our website and find out more information about this. And take the time to go through it. You'll be awestruck. There are so many talented people uh, represented there. Well, Bev, thank you very much for coming in. Dolores, thank you for coming in, and thank we'll you. see you over Thanksgiving mm -hmm. weekend. Thanks for Thanks having Thanks for us. having us. You're thank welcome. You so much. This is awesome. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.